How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to Sunday. That means we're playing some more Besiege if you didn't know that. People still think I play on Friday. No! Besiege is Sunday now guys, you should know that by now. Anyways, welcome back. I, I didn't mean to yell at you by the way, I love you guys. But anyways, welcome back everybody to the best Besiege creations. This week we're starting off with this guy. It's a Transformer actually, and I gotta say it's one of my favorite Transformers because it's not pretty, don't get me wrong, there, it's really cool to see pretty Transformers transform, but the bad thing about most of those is when you transform it, you can't do anything. I mean, they're just made to transform and look pretty. This, on the other hand, is actually a weapon of war, and it's very easy to control in both forms. So, of course, we do have a ground-based vehicle here that can shoot things, uh, but more importantly, we can transform and take to the skies. So let's see if we can do this first try. Come on, and sometimes it's a little hard at the start. No problem at all. I love that quick transformation, and I gotta say, the, the, the driving on the ground's great, but this is a very good flyer. Very easy to fly. I think it's also got an overdrive. Yes, I just engaged it, so you can see we're going quite a bit faster. I actually don't want to go fast because I want to try and shoot some things. So we got missiles on this. I think you can see them at the bottom there. We're going to go try and take something out here. I guess we'll go to the encampment behind this. Let's just actually drop these. There we go. Drop them, drop them, drop them, drop them, drop them. And did we take it out? I think we took out a couple of them at least, yeah. And also, this thing has a bomb on it, so can we maybe bomb the tower? Oh, we went over the tower, unfortunately. That thing's got some distance on it. Oh my god, I didn't realize I went into the stones there. It's a good thing we uh, didn't actually break. All right, but of course, a good transformer should also be able to transform back into its original creation. So we're going to turn this thing around and see if we can do some aerial maneuvers and transform back down into our ordinary vehicle. Holy crap, I can't believe I did that. All right, let's actually go over here. I need I need a little bit of opening. Oh, God. All right, that's right. I forgot this one needs invincibility on, so that's why we didn't break when we hit the uh, stone there. I was like, what the heck? But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the wings like to break off without invincibility on. I think because it transforms so quickly. Anyways, I'll shut up. Let's try and actually land this thing. I feel like we're going faster, though. Yeah, it feels like over time this thing goes faster and faster. I want to slow it down, but I think turning off those engines will be a bad idea. You know what? Screw it. Let's try it. There we go. Actually, okay, I thought it would fall right out of the air for some reason, but there we go. This is a much easier way to land, and bloop! <laughs> okay, we're back on the ground! So yeah, I just love that. From plane to car, like, right away, it is just such a rapid transformation, and that's what makes this thing so cool. You can actually use it for, for example, multiverse, things like that, and I think it would be a really competitive vehicle for a lot of different things. So yeah, that is the Transformer. I gotta say, one of the coolest ones in a while. Unfortunately, a little bit too big for that, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. It transforms and it blows shit up. And moving on to the next design, we got the Ninja Car, ladies and gentlemen. Now this one, uh, it's something that we've kind of seen before, but nothing uh, to the degree of this, basically. Now what this does is grapple onto things, but it also lets go of the rope so you can actually utilize the rope. And I'll show you that when we do get over there. I will say it's a little bit front heavy as you can see. Uh, this is definitely probably a new creator and there's nothing wrong with that uh, because it's a great idea. But uh, trying to drive this thing, not the easiest. So I'm just trying to get over to somewhere where we can kind of try and utilize this thing. So let's go right by these skulls over here because this might be a good spot to be. So let's actually, what the heck is going on? Uh, well, it's not, it's not supposed to do this, guys. That, that, that's for damn sure. All right, so I moved over to the other side of the mountain just because it's uh, quite a bit flatter over here, so we might actually be able to utilize this thing. All right, so what this thing does is this is the grapple aimer, so we're going to want to aim for one of these crazy tall things here. Doesn't matter what we hit. Obviously, this is just designed to go wherever you want. So, there we go. We'll let her go. And direct hit. Perfect. Can't get much better than that. So now what we want to do is make this cord, oh god, nice and tight. <laughs> this is so fun. And what we're going to want to do now, so then once it's nice and tight, we're going to make this an anchor point. So we're going to rotate this, and there we go. It's touching the ground, so I should be able to let it go. And look at that. That's what I like so much about this thing. You're actually building a, a, a line upwards. So now we have our little grabber on the top, and from what I understand, we can probably just attach to this little thing over here and then ride it all the way up. So just bear with me here as I align this thing. We're going to have to get a little bit in front of it, and then it's going to grab us, or we're going to grab it, I guess you could say, on the way up. Oh, wait. Oh, it's got a ball on it, so I think i got to let it go, 
And then, can we touch tips? And Whoa! There we go! I got it! Alright, I figured it out. We can actually utilize that as a crane as well. Uh, I didn't realize how complex this thing was, but now we should. Let's try and go a little bit slow. Oh my god, what is this thing? We should be able to be the ninja car. <laughs> I love it. And up to the top we go. Excuse me, I gotta, I gotta get through these. Oh god, this is not dangerous at all. Now, it does have uh, fans on it, as you can see, too, so we should be able to stick to this. Let's see if we can get it on the right side, though. All right, so we're gonna toggle those fans on. Oh, my God. I don't know how to do this part, because we're gonna have to connect to the rock. Wait, wait, wait. There there we go. There we go. So if I let go... Oh, this could end badly if I let go. I, I need to do this right. I, ne I never said I was a ninja. I'm just trying my best to be one. So come on, baby. Oh, this thing's in the damn way. That's the one problem. All right, so we're gonna have to... I don't even know what's going on at this point. It's kind of got a mind of its own because this thing's pulling on it so much. All right, come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? I can't believe. I think actually utilizing the, the, the gravitational pull might be a little bit too much for me. You know what? Let's turn it off for right now, and let's just see if we can connect to the rock. So if we can do that. There we go. There. Now we're stuck to the rock. So now if we let go of it. Oh, okay. I think I got it. There we go. Look at that! I'm a freaking ninja car! Okay, let's go up it. <laughs> I love it! Oh, that took a long time to make our way here, but god damn it, guys! We did it! And it's actually kind of working, which is damn impressive. Look at that. That is, that, that is the most accurate name for a vehicle I've ever seen. This is the true ninja car. And next up, I honestly have no idea what this thing is. Well, I have an understanding. It looks to be a quadcopter tank. But it's actually made by a Chinese creator. It's called Ping Ding Z. I googled that, nothing popped up. Uh, so I really have no idea what this thing is, but I've been playing around with it, trying to understand it. Again, everything's in Chinese, so even the controls, uh, even when I translate them, it's very hard to read the English. But I gotta say, this is just such a cool creation. I have to show you it, even with my limited knowledge right now, because, uh, yeah, this thing does a lot of really cool things. So you have to transform this thing. Now, I'm assuming you can use it in this mode, and maybe it's like a a speedster mode, but you can actually turn it into a fort as well. So if we actually, I don't think I got it spawned in. There we go. Now I got it spawned in. If we press a few buttons here, it actually will transform. So we have some bigger turrets inside of it. And when I press N and M, out pops those freaking turrets. Like how cool is this thing? Gotta be one of the coolest looking crafts I've ever seen. Now, now you can totally control the turret now that it's out on top as well, so you can rotate it wherever you want, ro uh, lift it up or down, of course. And it's also, I believe I can rotate the top turrets. Yeah, those, those are like the machine guns. I can just raise those and, and lo lower those, of course. And this thing, I mean, this thing has some serious power on it. You know what, let's raise this a little bit. I'm wasting all my ammo hitting close range things. I wanna hit that damn castle. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss everything, aren't I? There we go, we lost it all. But I'm sure you saw that sheer amount of firepower. That was a lot. And of course, it's got a machine gun on it. It has a flaming machine gun of all things as well. I, I do like a good flaming machine gun. Doesn't look like it's igniting the arrows though. It might just be my unluckiness though. And also, of course, it can fly. And that's kind of where I'm at in terms of confusion. So I can make it go, but it tends to... Oh, actually this time... Okay, I was practicing it on a different world. And it wasn't even able to do this, so we can actually... Okay, this is... See, this is where the controls become very confusing, unfortunately. But obviously, it's a water jet-powered hovercraft, which are very rare and very hard to control. So let's actually... Let's try it in this form and see if it's easier to control. So if we press the button now, this might be where, where it's at. And then we can actually use the arrow keys to go forward and backwards. Ah! It looks like, I'm going very, very slow, mind you, but it looks like it's actually able to do that. So yeah, I can kind of control it in steam cannon form. It does at least balance in the air now, which is impressive to say the least. Uh, but yeah, you can totally rotate this thing, uh, make it go forward. Unfortunately, you can see my, my fire extinguishes in this form, so I don't think you're supposed to really drive it in this form, but the other form, it's a little confusing as well. So yeah, I thought I would just quickly show you this one. Again, I know nothing about it, so if you know how to read Chinese, uh, feel free to check the, the link in the description. Maybe you know more about this thing, or even what it is. It's probably based off of some video game or anime or something. I gotta say, it is so damn cool. All right, and if you're a fan of realistic designs, I think you're gonna really like this one. This is the Milmi 8T hip. It's a Soviet or now Russian 
transport helicopter. And uh, I gotta say, in the Besiege, this is one of the most impressive looking helicopters that I've ever seen. I mean, check out the design of uh, the actual blade controls and everything. This is amazing. And inside, when we get into the cockpit, oh my god. Sorry, th this one is very, very exciting to me. So, of course, we have a door that we can open and close to. So we can, oh, oh, that, sorry, that, that, that's the butt door. We, we don't want to open up that one yet, yet. This is the troop door right here, so we gotta press that button. Now, is there actually any designs in here, or is it just basic? Yeah, this is just a cargo hold anyway, so... Oh, look at that! Even the, uh, names on the side of it. Alright, but we'll close that up. Of course, as you saw, you can open up the butt end, too, to put cargo in there. And you can close that up as well. But let's take this thing to the skies and see how good it is. I guess before that, though, let's show off these cockpit cameras. So, we have the first pilot camera, the second pilot camera, and I guess the engineer sits in the middle. So, we have an, a middle camera as well. I gotta say, this is one of the best-looking cockpits I've seen. Uh, it's not overly detailed or anything like that, but just the outboard look is really, really cool to me. But I want to see this thing st start up from the outside, so we're going to stay out here for a little bit. All right, so we got to start that engine up, of course, and, uh, oh my god, it just looks just like a helicopter. I love it. Uh, I'm assuming that's full throttle for the engine, so let's see if we can take this thing to the skies. So we're going to up the collective, and we should start at least hovering. There we go. Now, this thing might be a little bit hard to fly, so bear with me here. I'm gonna try and stabilize myself. Let's keep it nice and stable in the air. There we go. And we should have... Oh, oh I, op I opened my butt door on accident. All right, lift up, lift up, lift up. Let's not hit anything. This thing's bigger than I think it is. All right, and I am getting the hang of it. It's very hard to control, but it should be very hard. I mean, it's a helicopter. All right, I just tried to rotate it. That was a very bad idea. We're going down! We're going down! I'm not very good at this. But I'm trying my best, damn it. It's so fun, though, because you have to be very, very careful with what you do. For example, if I do push too much up on this collective, it's just going to go backwards because it's a little bit back heavy. I don't, I don't know if that's normal or whatnot, but yeah. Okay, so now that we're kind of going at a nice speed, I might actually be able to... Oh, man, I do not like using the yaw on this, but uh, yeah, of course you can use yaw to rotate it as well. And uh, that's what we're trying to do right now. You know what? Maybe it will be easier in cockpit view. So let's... Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. Uh, let's try cockpit view for a little bit. I'm going to go up on the collective here so we can actually go into the sky a little bit. And, I mean, I'm getting the hang of it. It, it is very, very finicky. But, I mean, it's a helicopter. There's, there, I, th I think they're kind of supposed to be finicky. All right. Raise it. Raise it. Raise it. Whoo! Made it over that. The big question is, can we land? And I'm going to say no. We, 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 we cannot land. But I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. So let's start slowing it down. And we'll slowly drop this. I don't want to go too far forward because there's a wall over there. Oh! What? What the hell just happened? That wasn't even me that time, damn it. All right, let's give this another try. I feel like I got a little bit gypped on that first one. So we're clearly flying right now. I'm going to try and land. Is this where the cultists are? Yeah, they're right over here. We're going to do a little bit of a cultist landing. So let's see if we can actually pull it, pull it, pull it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, drop down and turn off that engine before something breaks. Holy crap! I landed a freaking helicopter and a realistic one at that. Okay, I can't seem to actually turn off the engine. No, that's turning it on. Okay, clearly it was turning off. It was just uh, still spinning quite a bit. I guess that makes sense, though. These things tend to rotate for a while. Whee! Follow the blade! Follow the blade! That was fun. Okay, so yes, that is the Mill Me 8T Hip. Uh, very, very awesome transport helicopter in Besiege. I just, I love this internal view. It's such a huge helicopter. You usually don't see something of this scale in helicopter form in Besiege. So it's, it's pretty cool. And I must have flight-based crafts on the mind today because we're checking out another one. This is the FF3 Tarwind. And, uh, it's got a really unique propeller on it. I mean, look at this thing. Uh, very cool little design. It's very, very maneuverable in the air. So let's, uh... Shut up and just take this thing off and have some fun with it. Oh, God, did I break? Oh, no, I broke it. I broke it. Oh, man. All right, just pretend you guys didn't see that. You got to be careful with the tails on some of these planes. But look at this. Look at how quick this thing is it to churn. And it doesn't stall. That's what's so cool. Like, I, I can do so many tricks with this thing. And it just keeps going and going and going. So it's just a, just a very easy plane to fly. Let's see if we can... Oh, God, maybe take out one of these things. I mean, I can churn so much... 
It doesn't even freaking matter. Okay, well, running into a mountain's a bad thing. But you get the idea. It's just, it's very fast and very maneuverable. So let's try that again and maybe be a little bit more precise this time. So here we go. go oh, man, I just love how quickly it turns. So we'll just aim it up and... Bam! There goes... Oh! Oh! Oh, come on! Hold on to her! Hold on! Safe landing! Safe landing! Turn off the engines! Turn off the engines! It's okay! And we're dead. Now, it might be smart to actually put away the landing gear. Oh my god! Holy crap! Okay, that, that landing gear added a lot of torque onto this thing. Did you see that? It's just... I don't... I've never had a plane this maneuverable. It's, it's almost... I, I, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's really flying, because it doesn't stall. Like, I can go... Probably straight up. And it, I mean, it has a huge engine on it, though. You can see the amount of wheels that it's got going on in there. That's the power of this bad boy. So it's got a lot of torque in those gears. Uh, anyways, let's try and land this thing and not run into walls. All right. So we're in the air having some fun. Actually, we haven't tried the cannon. Is it just C? Yeah, it's just a C. Ordinary cannon at the side. Oh, my God. See? That, 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 that's what happens when you have very fast man maneuvering vehicles. I can actually avoid... The wall, for example. Anyways, let's try and land this thing. I'm going to go over to the straight over here, and we'll pop out the gear. There we go. And, oh, man. Shut off that engine, and we'll just glide down. This thing's going to be a really good glider. It's a very simple plane, very light, so it's very easy to do anything in this. And look at that. Look at that. I'm I, I'm almost getting good at flying things in Besiege, guys. So yeah, once again, the FF3 Tarwind, an absolutely awesome plane design. If you like doing tricks, this is the plane for you. And on that bombshell, we're going to wrap up this episode of the best Besiege creations, guys. Let's try... Okay, that, that was awful. You guys didn't see that. Let's try and do a shot here at the end. So I think how this works, I have to let it go kind of at the right zone. So it looks like we have to do it pretty far. And there we go. All rim. No net. That's, that's, that's not what you want, basketball. Hold on here. You want all net, no rim. So it looks like you have to go right at the end. And boom goes the dynam. Damn it. God, I can't even play sports in Besiege, let, let alone real life. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's it, right? That, what the hell? All right, you stupid arrow. I see exactly where the top is. And did we get it? Holy crap! All right, so it's very finicky at the top, but we did land one in. Boom goes the dynamite. I forgot to say it, damn it. All right, we have to do it again, because I had to say it. So, boom goes the dynamite. Come on. Oh, yes, that feels so much better. All right, guys, so I didn't expect that uh, outro to take so long, but uh, clearly I suck at basketball. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, as always, if you do want to check out any of the creations that were in this episode, links will be in the description. Thanks for being awesome, guys. Have an awesome Sunday. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.